Hello, you're welcome to this brief tutorial. And uh, I'm going to go straight to the point about domain name server. Now, it is very important you pay attention to this particular training or tutorial. And the reason for this is because it will help you to actually know a lot of things that has to do with domain name server, otherwise called DNSA. Okay, DNSA is the abbreviation of this uh, acronym, which is called domain name server. So, what is DNSA? DNSA is like a protocol that enables you to actually uh, link up your domain name to a server. Okay, that enables your website to be to be visible on the internet. So this video is going to be a little bit uh, a web kind of video training. And the reason for that is because most of our clients, both students that are on v 2 code, or better still, you a client that want to order for a v website or any kind of website at all, and you want to register a domain on your own. And then probably you want to use our server to to, to link up with your domain name. So this video is gonna help you to do just that. But before I continue, I'd like you to know that this is Legit Car Business TV. What we do here is basically we teach you how to make money online via different channels and mediums like cryptocurrency trading, investment, mobile app development, forex trading, and online business in general. So do well to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification icon because we'll be making videos like this on the channel and if you like the content do where to comment on the video to tell us more about what you think of this video and if you're returning subscriber thanks for stopping by to check on our update have not said that let's continue on the video properly now, as i said earlier domain name the, the domain name server is actually the a protocol that enables you to make your website to be visible on the internet that was just a simple explanation to that now when you must have uh, requested to own a v website or better still to own a website with us and you want to register a domain somewhere else so you need to actually know how to link it up to the name server that we are going to provide for you our hosting company though we have not introduced it to the world but it's the julo host okay julohost.com is our hosting company of course we can be able to contact us to order for your own hosting company if you want that that's one of our hosting company on the net so in julo host we are the one that have to give you the server to be able to to link up with your your registered domain okay so but here i'm not gonna uh, tell you more about julo host but i'm just like citing you that you needed that to understand that you, you need to have a hosting company that enables you to give you the dnsa of the hosting company so julohost.com is our own hosting company so when you have the hosting company you can go to this website which is whois.com to actually know the name server of a particular hosting company you are using so i simply enter julohost.com on the and the search query of whois.com you can see it here you can easily know the name server of a particular hosting company so you can see here that the name server of our hosting company here is uh, you can see it here this particular uh, two line of action is called the name server okay so you can see it is written here name server so this is actually what you need to do the next step i want to show you right now okay so if you look at you can see ns1 dot julohost.com that's the first and the second names have always come with two two identical uh, variables so always be aware of it so that you shouldn't just put one and leave the other one so it we must come with first and then the second name name server so it's very important you know that now you can use any re register of your choice like the one that we usually recommend is domain king okay domain king dot ng you can take them out so you can easily use this to register your domain name and then probably point the name server to work with our own name server okay now how do you change the name server look at it this way if you register a domain once it is being active irrespective of any register you're using even if it is not domain king you can use any registrar of your choice. So once you register the domain, if you click on domains, okay? If you click on domains, you'll be able to see the, the domain that you have registered. So follow this step to be able to change the name server of what 
you are working on in terms of like maybe you bought a domain and you want to now link up with our own server because if you chat up support support will always tell you that you need to change your name server to punch our own server so this is one of the websites which is we are registered registered this website on domain king so you can see the website here which is v2app.com.ng now i want to show you a practical demonstration of how to change the name server using this particular domain so if you look here you can see here now it is it is active here you can see active means that this domain can be managed, okay? Yeah, yours must have written something like this once you must have registered it. So what you need to do right now is to click on this dotted, the slanted, the, the arrow that is facing downward, just this way I'm pointing out. So click on it, then you can see manage name servers. So click on this manage name servers. You can watch or post this video to follow up the, the tutorial so that you shouldn't be a kind of say, ah, I didn't understand these parts. Okay, it's very simple. So once you, you are here, the simple way you need to do is to to, to clean up this first uh, name server. I'm not going to do it, but I'm just like showing you exactly how what you need to do. The one that you are going to have, it may be default, but right now this website you can see here now is hosted with Namecheap for now. So the name server is Namecheap hosting. So I'm going to just backspace it and then I will go and then copy this first, first, uh, what's gone, DNSA, and then paste it here and then go back copy the second one i believe you are getting it our team must have sent you this on whatsapp so you need to pay attention so copy the second one and then paste it and then come here and click change name server make sure you click on this change name server if you didn't click on this change name server there's no way the system will be able to pick it up so once you click on this change name server you contact our support team to be able to a kind of uh, provision a C panel for you, and then you wait for like 24 hours for the system to propagate. You can see it here that you can change where your domain point to here. Please be aware that change can take up to 24 hours for propagation. Propagation is that for the thing to be routed on the World Wide Web and all that. So that's what propagation means. So once you are done with that, you will be given a C panel from our company. And of course, you can able to see their website is going to come out live and direct. So this is how you can able to change the name server. And of course, if you are new to the channel, we have a, a, a training camp, which is called v2camcode.com.ng. You can take check them out in terms of like trainings on how to become a web developer. And of course, in terms of v2 technology. So we have made a training that is very, very affordable for everybody. Like the V2 basic coaching, you can join the training and then get started to learn both back and front end development of V2 website. So if that impressed, you, use the link in the description of this video to sign up and then get started. And if you love our content like this, please do it to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell notification icon because we'll be making updates like this in the future. I remain your host, Mr. Shedak. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thanks and God bless.